All right, hello everyone and welcome. How are you doing? Uh, DSP here live on the stream for a short pre-stream today. I don't want to go super long. Um, today is the final day of January. If you're not aware, it is January 31st, 2017. Which means a few things. It means that we're about to head into a very busy gaming month. If uh, you're not aware, February is going to be jam-packed full of new releases, including games like Neo, For Honor, Sniper Elite 4, and Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, there's also a few other things that may or may not be mixed in amongst that, okay? But, uh, <clears throat> overall, it's going to be a pretty jam-packed month full of new stuff, which is a good thing. It's always good to start off the game, uh, the game, the uh, year strong. I remember last year, uh, it looked like we were going to start off the year strong, but then we had a lot of disappointments with games like Street Fighter V and stuff like that that looked like it was going to make the, the year, you know, a pretty hefty year, and it ended up being very slow earlier on in the year, I remember. It wasn't until March, April with releases like Dark Souls 3 that stuff really picked up. But here's hoping for some good stuff. Uh, you know, coming up in the next uh, couple of months, this month in particular, it would be nice if the stuff picked up, right? <clears throat> okay. So, uh, it also means, being that this is the final day of January, that it's the last day to pledge to my Patreon for the month of January. And if uh, you're not aware, you know, a lot of stuff going on with that. First of all, as you can see on the screen right now, the Patron's Choice Playthrough. If you pledge $5 or more by the end of today, right now there's only 11 and a half hours left, by the way. Uh, but if you pledge $5 or more by the end of today, you can get in on nominating and voting on a game that will become a full playthrough of mine on DSP Gaming. Okay. In addition, you get personal perks for your pledges, including things like text and verbal thank yous in my videos. Uh, getting your questions answered on my bi-monthly show, Ask the King. Getting uh, premium forum access and a, a premium forum title. And even getting your own private Q&A videos. I actually filmed a couple of those the other day. And uh, got... It was actually kind of funny because there was one that I... I owed this guy two private Q&A videos. This one particular person. But I hadn't been able to do them because the past two months I've been so sick. <clears throat> I didn't even have a voice enough to, to do this. So I filmed this guy a super duper long Q&A video. Typically they're around 15 to 20 minutes long. This guy's was 45 minutes long. And I sent him it, and he watched it, and he basically sent me back a message like, Phil, that was, like, so awesome. And, you know, it really meant a lot to me, so thank you so much for doing that. You know, it, it was worth the wait, basically. Um, I always go above and beyond when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, yeah, if you have not yet, <clears throat> if you have not uh, pledged, and, uh, you know, you're considering the possibility of pledging, is much appreciated, okay? Um, I really need the help right now. I've already talked about this for the past couple of days. Things are not going so well with the business. Um, and it has nothing to do with you or me. I've been putting out tons of stuff that people want to watch, and people have been coming out and watching it. But for whatever reason, YouTube just doesn't want to pay me for my work anymore, I guess. Um, so because of that, things are tight. So anything that you can contribute by the end of today uh, would be very appreciated. All right, and uh, you know, here's hoping for the best. Let's just put it that way, okay? So, outside of that, this week, for the majority of this week, you're gonna see a lot of Yakuza Zero coverage, okay? Today, the gameplay stream is Yakuza Zero. Um, last night, I actually played Resident Evil 7 again. <clears throat> I actually did Resident Evil 7 in PSVR um, last night for about two hours, and you know, now knowing how to play the game and knowing where all the items were and everything, I pretty much turboed through it um, and ended up getting in two hours, getting all the way past the chainsaw duel, which, if you remember correctly, my first playthrough, uh, I didn't get that far until maybe four to five hours. So pretty much I've doubled down. I'm going twice as fast through the game. Um, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is... I am finding lots of kind of shortcomings with the PSVR when it comes to Resident Evil 7, but this is what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if you play the game regularly and with PSVR, what are the differences, what are the advantages, what are the shortcomings? So I should be able to have more information on that shortly, because tonight I'm going to be doing another two hours. 
um, where I'm going to be trying to get past, uh, you know, get out of the mansion, head off to that secondary house down near the water, the swamp with all the bugs and all that, see how far it takes, how long it takes for me to get through that, uh, and see how far I can get today, okay, maybe I can actually finish, uh, all of the stuff before you leave the mansion area today, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to get that far, um, especially simply because, uh, there's the fact that it is a lot more difficult to play this game with the VR, in my opinion. Because you have a, wild, uh, a more narrow field of view. Uh, <clears throat> the controls don't seem as precise. And it seems like it is kind of wonky. Especially last night during a, a couple of uh, the boss fight, the chainsaw boss fight. The camera kept rotating by itself. I wasn't doing it. I would be like fighting the guy with the chainsaw. And all of a sudden, it would go to the cutscene where you're chainsawing the guy's head. And it would be behind me. I'm like, what the fuck? Why did the camera rotate completely and the action is behind me? Like, seriously, it's just like, what is going on? So, you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to play more tonight, you know. And uh, I don't know, honestly, um, if I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of it. I doubt I am. I'm probably going to do this one more session tonight. And, uh, and then try to judge, you know... Maybe do a, start working on a comparison video of VR versus non-VR, okay? Now, <clears throat> some people actually did recommend to me uh, to change some of the settings. I guess there is a setting to change field of view and stuff like that. So since I already did two hours with the default settings, tonight I'm going to mess with those a little more and see if I can get it to be a little better. So maybe tonight we'll make it a little bit better. We'll see. Um, but this is good. This is all a good test of, of this technology. And, uh, you know, happy to be able to do that. You know, how many people are actually going to be able to do a VR versus non-VR playthrough comparison? Probably not a lot, right? Okay. Alright, so that's the deal for tonight. Rest of the week is going to be more Yakuza 0. Now, if I do get the beta code for Injustice 2 at some point, I'll play it. But, as I've said many times, I have no control over that, and sadly... Uh, you know, unlike a lot of everyone else's favorite YouTubers, even though I've been around the block and I've been doing this for eight years longer than most people who even do stuff professionally for YouTube, uh, I don't get any kind of priority or special treatment. Um, you know, I'm basically just like you, you know? I don't get any, any free games or anything. I basically just play the games just like you. I buy the games just like you. I sign up for betas just like you. And, uh, so if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. You know, I have no real control over it. <clears throat> And uh, I'm very, very, very interested in playing it, but that's life, right? That's just reality. Um, so, that's really it for the week. Now, of course, this Thursday coming up is Ask the King, okay? Ask the King is my Q&A show, and you only have two days left to post up your questions. Please do so over on the kingofhate.com forums. Uh, you can post them up right now. The thread's been up for quite a while. Uh, the more questions I get, the better the show is. So please post up your questions. I'm looking forward to that. I love doing Ask the King. It's one of my favorite things that I actually do. Um, the only other thing I really have to talk about today is uh, not a good piece of news. It's pretty sad, actually. Um, last night, our, uh, our last remaining hamster, Raisin, passed away. Um, you know, she hasn't been doing good, and, you know, it would be one thing if it was, like, a tragic thing where she was young, right? You have a pet that's young, and all of a sudden there's a tragic death. That's one thing. This wasn't the case at all. You know, our hamsters, we actually got them right when we moved into this house. For those who maybe haven't been longtime fans of mine, you may not realize, we've lived in this house for about a little over two and a half years, uh, we moved here in mid-2014, and one of the first things we actually did, the furniture wasn't even here yet, we went out and we got our hamsters, Cinnamon and Raisin. And, uh, you know, they lived a long time for, for little Jungarian dwarf hamsters. Typically, they only live around a year to two years long. <clears throat> in this case, uh, Cinnamon lived, let's see, Cinnamon lived two, a little under two and a half years, and Raisin actually lived over two and a half years long. Yeah, pretty crazy. They actually lived way longer uh, than expected for their life expectancy. So, you know what that tells me? That tells me that they had a good life, right? You know, we gave them as much as we ever could when it came to, you know, give them greens, give them treats, give them the healthy food, not the cheap shit. 
and, uh, you know, give them enrichment items, you know, that they play with and stuff, and they run in the wheel, run around in balls and stuff, you know, everything you would do. They had a good life, and, uh, you know, in this case, our last hamster raisin hasn't been doing good anyway. She's so old at this point. She actually had a lot of physical problems where she couldn't even reach the water bottle anymore. Just think about that. The hamster could not reach the water bottle to get a drink. For the last few weeks, we had to pick her up and actually have her lay on our hand and lay on her side so she could drink the water. I mean, yeah, it was not a good situation. Her hips were all screwed up and her eyes were all screwed up. And, you know, it was her time. It was her time to go rather than stick around and be in pain and be in discomfort all the time. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, obviously we're really sad here because it's the first time since we've lived here that we don't have any pets in the house. You know, it was one of the cool things of, of having our own place was that basically we could have something like a pet and have it be part of our life uh, together. Because, you know, when we moved here, that's the other thing. When Leanna and I, my girlfriend and I, moved here, it was the first time we ever lived together. Previously to that, we had dated for years, but it was a long-distance relationship where she would visit me like once a month for a few days and we'd have basically kind of like mini vacations where we'd go out and we would do stuff together. <clears throat> but we never had the opportunity to actually, you know, live together. And now, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, uh, you know, it's sad. It's a sad thing to lose a pet, right? I'll be honest here, you know, I'm very sad, but I, it actually it, it hurt more when we lost Cinnamon because that was the first one, you know, a few months ago. This one I was pretty much expecting at this point. It's like she's old and she has issues, you know. Better for her to, to go nicely in her sleep than to have to keep being here and suffering and suffering every day. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, apologies, you know, if you see think that I may sound down or whatever. I'm not down down or anything like that. But, yeah, it's not exactly the most exciting day of my life today. Um, definitely feeling, you know, kind of, you know, on the downside. And I'm all congested and everything from... You know, being a little upset about it, so I apologize for that, but, you know, here we are, uh, here we are, here, to try to, to be positive, to try to have some fun, right? It's like I said, if anything, one of the things that, that'll get you up on a day like today is to play a game like Yakuza 0, where we're gonna be doing quirky side quests and all kinds of stuff, uh, it's gonna be interesting. So I'd like to thank everyone who is here today on the stream with me, and, uh, you know, it's time to begin, shall we? All right, so everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, to everyone, by the way, let me say this before we start, and I'm being real sincere here, thank you everyone who stuck here with me. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers and a lot of streamers and whatever, and they don't share anything, really. What they do is they give you that face, that facade of positive, 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 and they sugarcoat everything, and they don't share this kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm not that kind of person. I never have been. And a lot of people really say that the, the reason I have the longevity that I have is because I'm one of the most straightforward and honest people on the internet. At the same time, more than likely, that's probably why a lot of people hate me. Because I don't sugarcoat stuff. And I share the reality of my life with you. And I'm real with you about this kind of stuff rather than uh, hiding all the shit. And people use that you know, negatively against me all the time. But you know what? That's who I am. So I want to say thanks to those of you who have stuck in there, who enjoy this stuff, who like sharing your lives with me as the same way that I share my life with you. And, uh, you know, that's how this works. That's why this has worked for eight years, I think. Rather than me putting out an a entertainment product for you, which is all fake bullshit, you get the real me every day. And I think that's why people are here. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. All right, folks. Let's uh, get started with Yakuza Zero. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right. Pre-stream over. Gameplay begin. Here we go. 